Well, hello. I'm in my bathroom. Welcome to another episode of Little Chick with Hannah. I'm Hannah here today to talk about an innovative cleaning product that only costs eleven dollars. It's called Drill Brush. Ta da! I saw this in another YouTuber's Amazon favorites video, and I don't remember who it is, and I'm really sorry. But anyways, this is a product you can get on Amazon for eleven dollars. Like I said. Um, it comes in different bristle strengths. I have the yellow, which is medium. It's for bathroom, bathtubs, showers, and porcelain. You can go all the way up to the black ultra bristle, which is for grills, paint, furnaces, baked on food, and industrial tasks. And then there's a stiff bristle, which is for like outdoors, siding, brick, garages, and gutters. And then there's even a soft one for carpet, chairs, glass, and leather. So, um, I picked yellow because I wanted it for my bathroom, which is why I'm in my bathroom right now. And yeah, we're gonna try it out. So, the caveat of the price on this is that you must have a drill. Obviously, drill not included. Um, I just already had a drill. I got this one at Target for like $30. It's pretty heavy duty and um, came with like all the drill bits and everything and it's um, cordless. So you just charge the battery. And I've used it quite a bit, and I've only ever had to charge it one time. So, charged it right before this, and we are ready to go. So, um, comes with multiple types of bristles. There's this one, which looks like a toilet brush um, thing. So, I guess I could use this in my toilet. And this is like a big flat-headed one. Looks like that. And then I've got kind of a smaller one for little nooks and crannies like that so that's the three it comes with like I said eleven dollars which I just think is a great price so before when I would clean my tub I had like a scrubby brush which was like the more Brillo pad type of thing um, kind of just had like a handle you just like go at it and like my arm would get tired within 10 minutes of scrubbing the tub and then I also had a bristle brush kind of like this um, but not attached to a drill so it's just takes a lot of manpower <clears throat> woman power and I also have like a little tiny scrubby brush that I use for the grout in the tub doesn't work great I've never been able to get the tub clean um, I live in a pretty old house and it's pretty gross like it was pretty nasty in the nooks and crannies when we moved in so this tub was like never really clean even when we moved in so I'll show you what it looks like and Hopefully, I haven't tested this out yet, so hopefully these brushes make a difference with a little bit of a power tool behind them. Uh, so let's take a look at the tub as is. Okay, so this is having not cleaned it, obviously. Um, you can definitely see it's pretty discolored, and it's always been that way. I've scrubbed it so many times. I've um, like filled up the a couple inches of the bottom of the tub with bleach and vinegar and baking soda and Dawn and all the concoctions that you hear about and it's always just kind of dingy. The grout is pretty dingy as well. I've definitely scrubbed the grout many times and it just kind of gets worse pretty quickly but it's such a pain that I never really want to do it very often. And then what really made me want to do this was I saw back here <laughs> behind my soap a little bit of a situation uh, like that so ew. um kind of been ignoring that so yeah definitely needs some TLC so we're gonna try out the bristle brush so let's do a little pan all right so that's what we're working with and my cleaning products of choice I would like to start with a vinegar baking soda combo I also have some barkeepers friend um, soft cleanser so that I will do if I need another pass through. I'm gonna start with um, vinegar and baking soda because that's my favorite cleaning combo. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to wet the shower.
we're at the off halfway point, so let's look at what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you can definitely tell where I've cleaned. There's definitely some spots like right here that I just need to go back over. My arm was getting tired, so that made a huge difference. And I've definitely scrubbed this tub probably over 10 times since we've moved in and it's never looked this clean. It pretty much just always looks like that or like maybe a slightly cleaner than that. So holy smokes, way less effort than scrubbing with way better payoff. So let's keep on going. Um, I just tried to go back over what I did with the barkeeper's friend and I noticed some yellow coming off and I think it was kind of sucking out some of the color of the bristles. So I'm going to not do that anymore. I'm worried it'll stain or something and I don't want that. So I'm just going to continue with the baking soda and vinegar because I think that was working pretty well. is done it looks so much better but I'm gonna wait until the end to do a final reveal so now I'm gonna work on this corner because it's really gross <laughs> I'm gonna switch oh hello really zoomed in I'm gonna switch from the larger brush to the smaller brush for this one um, so that I can get into the corners a little easier Um, I'm just going to let that baking soda set on the grout because that's what has mold on it. Next, I'm going to tackle this little soap dish. It's not like terribly gross. I'm just going to use some um, Method bathroom cleaner for that.
Okay, final thoughts. I'm sweating. Did it make it easier? Here's the thing. It didn't make cleaning the bathtub easier, but it made it cleaner with similar effort. Does that make sense? Like, I worked as hard as I normally do to clean the bathtub. Like, I'm tired, my back's gonna hurt tomorrow, etc. But it's way cleaner than it ever was before with me putting in the same amount of effort. So, can't complain. Um, downsides? I can't really think of any downsides. I mean, you need to buy a power tool. But, I mean, for 40 bucks, $45 with tax for everything. Worth it? It was worth it for me because I already had a drill. And I use my drill a lot. And I think you can get a lot of use out of a drill other than with these attachments. But, it made cleaning the bathroom a heck of a lot easier. It wasn't great on the grout, um, especially where I had mold like in the corners, but I think that just needs to be re-grouted that like grows like inside which is really gross but and then the grout like on the tile it didn't really get but I don't know if maybe I was just using like the wrong cleaning agent it did it did make it better it made it better but it's not like clean but it's like there was like soap scum on top of possibly mold so it's possible that the whole shower just needs to be regrouted but that's not happening this is a rental I'm not regrouting this shower where I'm really impressed is the base of the shower the bottom part because there's that like grippy section or whatever that's like rough so you don't slip and that was gross and it's like hella clean now so i would definitely recommend this if you have trouble cleaning your shower you're still gonna have to put in a lot of effort but it'll get a lot cleaner for your for your troubles and it's only 11 bucks if you already have a power tool so i highly recommend it i think it could be useful in a lot of situations that's my review on the drill brush uh not spawns but you can sponsor me if you want drill brush because I heck of like this thing and I've never seen my bathtub this clean, especially living in a rental property coming in somewhere that's already really gross and dirty like mine is. It's really frustrating, but having something like this definitely helps make it as clean as I want it, which is like perfectly clean. So thanks drill brush. I'll be sure to like this video if you enjoyed this review and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other things that are nothing like this. And I'll see you next time.